<laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let's do this, okay? <laughs> Too bad I didn't get that on video. That was pretty hilarious. <laughs> I amuse myself sometimes. Anyways, um, so let's try another equilibrium constant, right? So first thing we're going to have to do is find the equilibrium constant expression. But before we do that, right, we're going to have to balance the equation. Okay, so a balanced equation has to occur before you can get the right equilibrium constant expression. Okay, so we look here, um, pretty straightforward. We got two hydrogens here, two ions here, and only one of each here, right? So just put a two there, and it should be balanced, right? Is that everybody agrees? So let's do the equilibrium constant now, KEQ. So again, this is going to be just like the last few problems that we were doing, right? But, um, this time they give us numbers to plug in. Okay? <coughs> so, why don't you guys help me out since you guys know how to do this now. What would be on the top? Concentration, Concentration of H2, right? Hydrogen gas. Because it's a gas, right? And iodine is also in the gaseous form, so it's going to be concentration of I2, right? Like you guys said. Um, and then on the bottom, what is it going to be? Concentration HI squared. Yep, concentration HI squared. And now, we just plug in the numbers. Remember what I said, equilibrium constant does not have units, so don't even worry about the units, okay? So if they, they're already in molarity, then you just throw them in there, okay? Um, so we say 0 0.54 times, whoops, <laughs> 1.72, I think. your question of how to plug it in? Okay, cool. So are there any more questions about this one? The interesting thing about this KEQ, does anybody know, does anybody recall from reading the chapter, aha, uh -huh, right, <laughs> what it means to have an equilibrium constant that's above one? Does anybody remember? Okay, so just so I won't torture you guys on video. If you have an equilibrium constant above one, that means the reaction is favored to the product side, okay? So we've got something that looks like that, okay? So if the equilibrium constant was less than one, so it's always gonna be above zero, okay? So it's, you have to decide whether it's below one or above one. If it's below one, it means that the reactants are favored, or this is not a very good reaction, okay? If it's above one, then it means that the products are favored, and that's a good reaction, right? Because you want to produce your products, right? That's what you're doing your reaction for. Is everybody cool with that? Okay, so recall that when I ask you about above or below one when KEQ, okay? Any questions? <laughs> 